Hey y'all, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for April 27th, 2019. The character of this island and the modifiers are all star, start with five colorless cards. Colorless cards, colorless cards are not appearing rewards. And Midas, enemies drop 200% more gold, but you can no longer smith the rest sites. Let's get started. Already had to say the word colorless three times. Alright, we got Swiss Strike, Purity, Enlightenment, Panache, and Trip. The Panache is a rare card. That means if we keep it, we won't get the popper modifier. Um, with this many zero cost cards, so I am thinking of keeping it. Probably be able to play it often enough. Not sure about enlightenment. Uh, it might hit some uh, high cost rare cards like nightmare and wraith form, but um, that's probably one of the first cards I want to remove. I don't think we should go for an enlightenment deck. Silent is not really suitable for that. So there's only one two elite path. We have to go on the left. Um, I think we'll do that. Uh, we can get a decent amount of... Well, actually, not that many, but we can... We definitely have two question marks, or two shops. So, that's something going for us there. Alright, so probably trip you so that we can kill easily and then defend for a little bit. Alright, and then neutralize and then survivor. Okay, yeah, that enlightenment is definitely definitely has to go. Uh, Panache, Swift Strike, Defend, Strike, and Burn Out the Purity. Um, um, I'm actually thinking if we should embrace the um, Panache and upgrade it. Might be useful. Got a Block Potion, and um, so I do want to go for the Highlander modifier, so I can't, we can't take any of these since they will be duplicated. I don't think we need Expertise either, though, so let's continue. Um, Ghost and Jar might help us perfect. Uh, Leg Sweep would be useful. As, uh, actually, I guess we have Enlightenment. That might be nice too. The Infinite Blades would help us with the Panache. That basically gives us an extra card to play each turn. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I'll really lean into the Panache here. Actually, we can't afford both. Just barely cannot. So I think I definitely want to go with Ghost and Jar. I'm really not sure about Leg Sweep. It would be defend defense though, which we might need. Fine, let's do Ghost in the Jar and then the Leg Sweep. We still have another shop upcoming, so. Um, yep, here's our first uh, curse as well as a bunch of gold. All right, everybody's attacking. Uh, we have 12 incoming. We can barely defend against that. And then uh, hit you, sure. This guy's one strike away from death, right here, and this guy should be dead. Let's see if we can actually do it. Yes, we can. Perfect. Um, all out attack, dagger throw, sucker punch. Dagger throw would allow us to discard cards. All out attack would be AoE, although Panache has AoE covered already. Let's do dagger throw then. Okay. Got the jaw worm, jaw worm here. Trip, swift strike, um, and then probably just defend. And then one more strike. Yeah, I'm liking trip. I'm liking trip so far. Oh, I guess I didn't realize the um, curses might make it difficult for us to play the panache every turn at least, unless we can get some uh, shivs going on here. Got an explosive potion and um, can't take a second dagger throw. I'll take blade dance here. And yeah, maybe we'll go for a shift deck with the panache. Utilize that. All right, let's see what dagger throw gives us. Uh, definitely don't want the doubt. Uh, let's double strike. Neutralize. Um, I'm not sure if I should use Ghost in a Jar. Um, I will only do that if I'm guaranteed to kill the turn after. Um, actually, here I can defend traditionally with a Survivor. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can deal 50 damage in the next two turns. Nash. Um, well, there's a Block Potion we could use. But no, no, I think I'm going to give up. Hang on, what's coming up next? useful. Yeah, I'm thinking of giving up perfecting and um, keeping the Ghost Ninja for next combat. Yeah, let's do um, Swift Strike here and then throw the Block Potion just to avoid taking too much damage. But yeah, we're definitely not perfecting this one. 27 incoming. Okay. Another 27. Uh, it's getting close to death here. Um, probably don't need the defense. Swift Strike, regular Strike, and Neutralize. 
Okay. The Atlanta stage come with an additional energy. Very nice. Um, I really like Panic Button. Or Deflect. Since we're not going to get the Gremlin up here anymore, we're fine with skills. Panic Button is just really powerful. I think we should take it. Um, oh, right. Thanks to Midas, we can't actually smith anything. So I guess we rest here. All right. Another shop. Uh, bag operation would be nice. Um, would make our opening hand really large, especially with Lantern that we have extra energy. Um, Blade Dance would help with the Panache. Do I want Caltrops? Nah, not really. Dodge and Roll is also not that great without a footwork. Um, let's actually... Wait, didn't I just take Blade Dance? I did, I did, right. So I don't want to take a duplicate. Um, let's take a Power Potion for the combat and then uh, remove the uh, Enlightenment. Okay. And then, yeah, I think I'll go with Bag Operation. So as start of combat, there are two additional cards. That's in addition to our Ring of the Snake, which is basically the same. Yeah. And, uh, well, if we do a very defensive deck, then Caltrops would be useful. But, hang on, who's our final boss? If it's Hexagos, I'll take Caltrops. Nope, it's Slime. All right, no, let's keep it. Um, I won't take the uh, dodge and roll either. You've got Sneko Skull. Whenever you apply poison, apply an additional poison. Interesting. I haven't seen a single... Well, I guess we have seen some poison cards. All right, let's do Panache. Um, Purity the Doubt out. And then uh, we would wake him with the Panache. We c well, we could wake him with the Panache this turn. Do we want to? That's a question. Is there any anything else we want to set up? Not really. Yeah, I think we can wake him. So neutralize, double strike. And then um, I want to see what power pushing we get. Probably should have done that. And Venom is actually great, especially with the Snake of Skull. Okay. So basically, each, each attack will give him two poison. Here, we do have to prioritize defense. So let's do Leg Sweep. Okay. And then um, Swift Strike. And yeah, unfortunately, we have to defend here. If we want to continue perfecting. Alright, well there's panic button. Since I know he's not uh, attacking next turn, I can play that without any issues. Yep. Alright, and then dagger throw and strike. Okay. Yeah, that, that's why I like panic button. Especially on this floor where we have a lot of enemies that have very predictable patterns. Okay, perfected this one without even having to use the ghost in jar. That's really good. That Nunchaku, every time you play 10 attacks, gain extra energy. As well as, uh, again, we have AoE, so we don't need Dagger Spray. I am considering Flying Knee. Yeah, sure, let's take it. Okay. Um, this already chopped. I think that's the Lagavulin again. Good. I don't think this counts for our perfect, though, so I'm not um, too worried about our HP loss. Uh, let's do Panache. Um, let's see what Dagger Throw gives us. Okay, is there anything I want to purity out? Ideally the curse, but uh, let's do leg sweep and then strike just to keep him weakened next turn. Mm -hmm. 13 incoming. Trip, neutralize. All right, so we're probably going to take 13 damage. That's okay. And another 13. Uh, yep, panic button. Again, perfect in this situation. All right. Okay, here we're going to lose even more strength index. Let's play all of our offensive cards here. We might need the Ghost in the Jar just to survive. Do we have a rest coming up? We don't until the final fight. Um, neutralize again, coming up on the right uh, hand. Probably don't need Purity here. All right, I'll just do this. Yeah, we're reasonably close. I think I'm okay with the HP loss. Okay. This doesn't kill, does it? Actually, yeah, the Panache kills. Perfect. Got Orichalcum. If you end your turn without blocking, six block as well as an energy potion and um, escape plan, which is really good. Or do I want to do backflip? Yeah, I don't think we really need card draw just yet. Let's do escape plan. Okay. All right. So uh, definitely trip. Um, now, unfortunately, we are going to take some damage unless I triple defend. But no, let's just double defend and deal some more damage. Actually, I guess we got extra energy. Yeah, let's fully defend then. Thanks to Nunchaku. Yeah, if we have a good shift deck going on, Nunchaku is going to be a great help for us. Tiny strike, strike. Oh, he's dead. 
Um, Calcade, Gamble. No. Well, it would actually help with the Panache. And it's a zero cost card. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm a little upset that we haven't seen too many other um, zero or uh, shift cards just yet. I don't think I'll do panic button here. Next turn will be rough. We'll just do a survivor. That should be sufficient. Okay. All right, ten incoming. Uh, swift strike, late dance kills. Right. Perfect. All right, uh, Noxious Fumes, Panacea. Panacea would be great with the Panic button. Noxious Fumes would just be great by itself. Mm. I think we'll do with uh, Panacea. Uh, Noxious Fumes, we won't be able to upgrade it, so it's not going to be as powerful. All right, another shop. Um, well, there's a footwork. There's the Cloak and Dagger I was complaining about. We can also do Least Waffle Up and pick up Racer Max Speed by 7 and heal all of your HP. That might actually be worth it. I want to do Bag of Marbles as Savage Combat Plow and Vulnerable to all Enemies. We can actually afford both. Um, yeah, let's do that and that. And then, unfortunately, between these two, I will go with Cloak and Dagger. Good work is nice, but... Um, yeah, yeah, I think this is fine. Alright, so now, actually, I guess maybe Lee Waffle is not that necessary. Because I forgot that we can't upgrade here. We have to rest, but that's fine. We got the max HP, which is nice. Alright, so um, let's do Panache. Trip. Dagger throw, see what we get. Alright, um, and then Swift Strike, Panacea, and Leg Sweep. Okay. Actually, Leg Sweep was not necessary since he's uh, not going to be weakened. Or not going to attack this turn. Um, I think here I'll actually um, do Calculate Gamble to try to fish for... Um, actually, let's do Blade Dance first. Yeah, try to fish for the neutralize. Hmm. Uh, well, there's panic button, which we don't really need this turn. Um, this will make him split, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, no. No, no, no. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we'll try to split next turn. Alright, 26 incoming. Um, yeah, let's just split him here. Uh, actually, we can even trigger panache here. Perfect. Alright. That's successful. Okay, now can we trigger Panache once more? I don't think so. We're getting attacked by quite a bit here. Uh, we do have an Explosive Potion, uh, which I am thinking of using. Do that. Okay, so now this guy's splitting, and this guy will split at 13. So, yep, perfect. And we can actually get this guy down even lower. All right. Now we just need to trigger Panache one more time. Oh, there's Panic Button. Uh, is that going to be enough? Yes, that's going to be exactly enough. Uh, okay. Alright, I'll do it. Okay. Still need to tr trigger that panache. Um, yeah, that's not going to be... That's not going to do it. Let's do... Uh, I don't want to use the ghosting jar, but I don't think I have a choice here. Especially since I can't get defense... Let's do, hang on, let's so we'll do 9 damage, right? Let's do trip, strike, then purity these out. And then, yeah, let's do, we have to do ghost in the jar, which is a little unfortunate, but I was really banking on that panache to get triggered, which didn't happen yet. All right, yeah, this should do it, though. Okay. All right. Okay, used two potions there, but we got it. We got the perfect. Um, Apotheosis is great here. Because of Midas, we can't smith. It's pretty much what we need. Um, yeah, Wraith form without an upgrade is not going to be that powerful, and Phantasmal Killer is not that great. Yeah, I think this is hands down Apotheosis. Yep, alright, let's do it. So that means we're also not getting the popper modifier. Here I think we'll take Curse Keek and Energy to start your turn. Whenever you open a non-boss chest, put in a curse. I think that's the best. Actually, you know what? No, let's get Fusion. Well, hang on. So Fusion Hammer is basically energy without a downside, since we can't rest already. But Curse Key would guarantee us at least two more curses. And then we'll just have to find two other curses in our um, in our path. Yeah, let's do Curse Key then. Because I do actually want to get to um, five curses. Alright, we got the champ at the end. And uh, unfortunately only two elite paths again. So if we go on the far left, we can do one, two... Three question marks in a shop. 
if we go on the far right, we can do one, two, three question marks and no shop. And if we go sort of in the middle and then via right, we can do three, four, four question marks and a shop. Yeah, that's probably what we do. What we do. All right, so definitely apotheosis. Now, if only we can ensure that that's going to be in our opening hand more often. And actually, probably brings well. We can definitely bring one of them down. Um, let's bring the bring you down. Okay. All right, and then um, we do have a little bit more incoming. We can kill the backliner. Actually, almost kill him. Not kill him. Not actually kill him. Yeah, let's defend. No reason to take damage. And then I'll do uh, dagger throw, see what we get. Okay, and then swift strike to actually, yeah, swift strike to kill. That way we don't have to worry about him. Okay. So trip, panacea, neutralize. That way we don't have to worry about anything either. Yeah, apotheosis was a really good pickup for us. Okay, blade dance. We'll get one of these down. And we can actually get another one down too. Perfect. Okay. And then escape plan, purity. Well, let's do Panache first, but purity showing up just at the right time. We can kill you, unfortunately. Actually, never mind. We're not going to take damage because of our Calcum. And here we should be able to kill relatively easily. Perfect. Flash of Steel is pretty nice. Um, Quick Slash would also be nice. Um, we... Oh, well, yeah, Quick Slash is common, Flash of Steel is rare, so I think I'll go with Flash of Steel here. Okay. Um, we don't have enough weakness for Paper Crane to be worth it. Mind Blast won't be that powerful. It'll actually only deal 19 damage in the beginning, but it'll get stronger. Now, if I take Heal Hook, we would have to um, really develop our uh, weakness capabilities. It is on sale too, though. Master of Strategy might be nice. Tropic Brew might be nice. You know what? Heal will definitely want to get a footwork though. Yeah, let's get footwork. Gremlin Home would also be nice. Whenever an enemy dies, gain energy and draw one card. I definitely think we should get footwork. And then, um, do I want backflip or Gremlin Horn? We don't have another guaranteed shot this fall, right? Yeah, I kind of think Gremlin Horn would be nice. No, but backflip would help with the panache. All right, let's do really tough. Let's do backflip and then I'll take the entropic brew. Wait, when is our next elite fight? It's coming up soon. All right, fine. I'll take a block potion as well. All right. Uh, remove all strikes re and receive five bites for 30% max HP. Um. No, I don't think we need to heal that badly. Also, I don't want to lose some max HP. Um, here is our second curse. Okay, yeah, let's take it. Decay is probably a more tolerable curse than most. All right, so we can actually get... Well, hang on. I thought this is purity, right? Don't want to misclick that. Get rid of both curses. Okay, we can do strike. Neutralize. Won't break the armor, but don't want to do it. And just defend here. Okay, another eight. Uh, definitely apotheosis. Uh, trip, footwork, defend, and with strike. Mm -hmm. Another ten. Uh, we can do escape plan. Really hoping to get the panache out soon. Um, backflip. Still not. All right. Um, let's do cloak and dagger. Strike. Blade Dance, that should get rid of most of the armor here. And we can do Flying Knee for extra energy next turn. Hmm. Alright, there's Panache. Uh, strike once. Actually thinking Calca Gamble might give us... Actually, no. No, let's just do... Um, actually, we might be able to kill here. Um, okay. Dagger Throw. Hang on, let's do... Uh, wait. Let's do dagger throw first, and then a strike. Perfect. All right, uh, dramatic entrance would be nice. Some opening turn AOE. 
Yeah, let's take it. Okay, and then we're going on the right, right? Yeah. Alright. Alright, everybody's attacking. Great. Uh, let's do dramatic entrance. And then uh, definitely want to leg sweep the back line, alright? Okay. I should have done footwork first. That was a mistake. I hope it doesn't. I hope we can manage without it. No, we can't. Yeah, that was a mistake. Because now I don't have necessary block. Let me let me restart. Um, that was a little embarrassing, but um, I jumped the gun there. And I would like to perfect that fight. Right, so I have to first play footwork and then leg sweep. There it is. Alright. Because now we don't have to play any more defensive cards and we can just kill these two. Actually, I could have been fine the other round because I forgot that we got an Enchaco active, so we could have actually just played another defensive card, but I think this is this is much smarter. Let's do Swift Strike, Cloak and Dagger. Shiv, and then I'll do Calculate Gamble since I would like to get the pen, uh, Panache and Panacea out. Okay, he's not attacking, luckily. Unfortunately, I don't see a way to defend against this. Let's do Apotheosis, Purity out the doubt. Okay, Blade Dance, so that's <clears throat> 12 damage. That's not even enough to kill the Frontliner. Actually, never mind, we have Panache active. Now it's not enough to kill the backliner. Or the, the frontliner, I mean. Alright, let's just do defend. One shift you, and then um, shift the backliner here. Alright. Um, so definitely trip and escape plan. Let's see what backflip gives us. Okay. Dagger throw. Um, you. Alright, there's neutralize. Okay, and then we uh, can actually fully defend. Wow. All right, I went better than expected. We got really lucky with drawing the um, neutralize in the right turn. Flash of Steel, Swift Strike, Neutralize Strike, and then Blade Dance. Perfect. We got Meat on the Bone. If your HP is at or below 50% at the end of combat, heal 12 HP. In Venom, I would like in Venom. We have a lot of zero cost or you know less cost attack cards, and we have the Snake of Skull. Mind Blast, 1 energy, so now we'll do, what is that, 23 damage for 1 energy? Mm, it's not bad, but I think we should definitely go with Venom. Piercing Wells is not bad either. Let's go with Venom. Too bad it's not upgraded. The other cards were, so. Alright, um, do I want Ritual Dagger? No, I, I think I'll go for the gold instead. All right, here we got our third curse. That's a regret, as well as a potion, a uh, deep potion belt. Uh, can pick up again two potion slots. Very handy since we do have an entropic brew. All right, so apotheosis, escape plan. Um, now, what are the odds of him attacking next turn? Fifty-fifty, right? Because he usually goes between either attacking or not attacking. Um, let's do dagger throw. Um. Hmm. I'll do neutralize. Okay, so we do have fifteen. I think I'll 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 I won't risk it with the panic button, so let's just do defend. Actually the worst case scenario next turn he attacks for fifteen. And we already have a six from Morica. Um Yeah, yeah, let's not risk it. Uh, or let let us risk it. I'll do panic button and then strike, strike, and dramatic entrance. Okay. All right, he is attacking, so we're going to lose 15 minus 6, which is fine. Trip, Flash of Steel, Venetia, and um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I should have played the defend just to avoid the damage from the regret. All right, Panache, Cloak and Dagger. Mm, flying Knee. Um, all right. Should be able to easily kill this turn. Perfect. We got a skill potion out of it, and um, well, an unupgraded piercing well would work. It's unfortunately not upgraded, but um, yeah, I think we'll take it. It'll be useful. Here we got another curse, normality. That's actually really bad. But bottle tornado, open pick up, choose a power card, so I just come with this card in your hand. That's probably going to be the panache. Yep. Um, I also want to hang on. So we have one, two, three, four curses already. So next four, we're, we're guaranteed another curse. We already have the curses modifier, and luckily for us, they're all different curses, meaning we can 
as, as of now, still keep the Collector's bonus. Or the Highlander modifier, I mean. Alright, so Panache, Panacea. Dramatic Entrance, Neutralize, Cloak and Dagger. Purity out the Decay. Okay, and then Shift. Alright. And we have a good set of potions for the boss fight. Or the elite fight. Okay, um... Yeah, not happy about Normality being in this hand. But I'll do Apotheosis and uh, Venom. Actually, we can get rid of it with Dagger Throw. Alright. Um, trip. Late Dance. Uh, let's actually play the Shifts first. Backflip. That gives us a Swift Strike. Um, and then these two. Yeah, perfect. I think we killed partially thanks to the Envenom, so... Um, Terror, Deadly Poison, Quick Slash. Hmm. Deadly Poison would be nice, but I think we'll go with Quick, quick Slash. Card draw. And okay, now that we're guaranteed to have the Panache in our opening turn, I think card draw is important. Unfortunately, having Normality in our opening turn is really bad. And we don't have a way to get rid of it. Let's do Panache. Um... Yeah, Dramatic Entrance, and then I'll do Panacea. Yeah, not great. Had to finish that turn with five energy. That's that's a that's a waste. All right, um, trip you. Dagger throw. Actually, let's do footwork and then I'll do calculate gamble. Defend and strike. All right. Okay. Um, now this enemy attacks every turn, so panic button might not be appropriate here. Flash of Steel, and Venom. Okay, and then probably just defend. Actually, purity out the doubt. Yeah, and then defense should be sufficient. Okay. Eight incoming. Um, Lex Sweep would give us, well, would allow us to perfect here, or to to not take damage. We're not. We're not. We're already not perfecting. Um, and then yeah, we can trigger the Panache as well. All right. Another eight. Um, Survivor, the K out, Swift Strike, Regular Strike, and then Piercing Roll. Hmm. There's the Apotheosis in the final shuffle. Um, actually, I should have done this way. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we're going to take four damage here. But he's almost dead. Right? Almost dead. There it is. All right. Uh, impatience. That might be nice, just for card draw. Yeah, I don't like Bane or Sneaky Strike that much, so let's take Impatience. All right. Let's see if we can perfect this one. When did I use my Ghost in a Jar? I don't remember. Uh, so very good to have a Pothios in our opening hand. Then Panache, Panacea. Piercing Well would... Um, actually, yeah, it would allow us to perfect here. Let's do footwork, dramatic entrance, and then piercing well. Okay, so we only have five incoming. We're defended fully, thanks to Ori Kalkum. Um, I will do a defend just to trigger the panache here. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Open to keep the artifact for... Alright, that didn't happen. For the panic button. Uh, let's actually do Swift Strike and Patience, see what we get. Alright, um, so then in Venom, Quick Slash again. I'm very hesitant to do Calculate Gamble since we might um, draw the Normality. Same with Backflip. Let's do Backflip though. Alright, alright. Uh, strike kills this guy. We're actually fully defended. I will do Calculate Gamble because if we draw the Normality now, I'm totally okay with that. We did not. Very good. Okay. And then here, Trip, Strike for a kill. Awesome. We got Gambling Chip. At the start of each combat, discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards. As well as a Gambler's Brew and um, probably none of these, not even Slice. Yeah, I think we're good. Actually, upgraded Sucker Punch for the weakness. No, we didn't take the Paper Crane, so... Not super necessary. All right, we're almost back to full HP. We have a good set of potions here, so I feel good about this fight. Um, let's get rid of... Actually, I'm going to get rid of a lot of cards. Can we defend here? 
Um, we don't really have good defense, so maybe we keep the panic button just uh, in case. Actually, no, we have a good set of potions, so let's get rid of a lot of these. The reason I want to try to fish for as many curses as possible to get them to get rid of them with purity. Um, I will keep the neutralized though. Probably don't need this. Probably don't need this. Okay. All right, that's too bad. I was really hoping to get rid of the normality with the purity. All right, so panache purity out the um, regret. Then neutralize, um, and then probably just these cards. We can play everything here, right? And then we also have to drink the... Actually, let's see what skill potion we get. Blur won't be enough. I'll do probably another Blade Dance then. Actually, it would be nice to have a Blur in our deck. So, let's do Blur, and then I'll do a Block Potion here. Okay. All right, perfect. So now we're almost fully defended this turn as well. Um, I think I'll do Envenom and then Leg Sweep. Uh, or we can do Envenom and Backflip. Yeah, let's do Backflip. Alright, yeah, perfect. I was hoping to draw the Normality. That way we don't have to deal with it anymore. Alright. At least not on this shuffle. 24 incoming, so uh, Trip, Panacea, Flash of Steel... Quick slash um, Botheosis a little too late. Uh, Alright, let's see. Do I want Energy Potion? Anything else I can draw that would make this better? Not really. Um, let's discard the Gambler's Brew and drink the... Uh, actually, no. Let's keep the Energy Potion and drink the Entropic Brew. Okay, there's Weakness we can apply. That's not going to be enough. We only have 12 defense here. Yeah, I don't think there's much you can do. That's unfortunate. We we're, I think we were doing pretty well. Ah, yeah, we just got a bad draw. Maybe I should have just gambler brewed everything and and just tried to get a defensive card, but that's fine. Let's try a calculate gamble, and then I'll do a defend just to trigger the panesh. Okay, another thirteen. We can do. Uh, let's do quick slash first. Okay, then dagger throw. Um, probably don't need panic, but now that we're not perfecting anymore, I'm, I'm not too keen on uh, not taking any damage. As long as we don't die, which I think we should be fine in. Okay. Alright. So now he's uh, buffing himself. Flash of Steel, Flying the Swift Strike, Regular Strike, and then Survivor. We have a lot of energy, so we really should try to get some more card draw next turn. Next uh, floor. All right, so trip, backflip, um, escape plan. Ah, that's unfortunate. We're in a reasonably good position here. We could have played calculate gamble, and oh well. Okay, twenty-five. Um, probably leg sweep here. Then double strike. Do I want to do impatience to draw a defend? No, it's fine. Okay, um, he's buffing again. Uh, let's do escape plan. Strike, swift strike, and then blur and patience. Or leg sweep to keep him weakened. Okay, we can also hang on to this block for next turn. Which is very handy, since otherwise we would have been dead next turn. Um, dagger throw. I'm actually thinking of panic button here, but no, we don't need it. Yeah, let's just play everything else. Okay. Yeah, we definitely were not we're not gonna perfect this fight. I think I wonder if we didn't have the curses, if that would have been better. But I mean the curses give us like hundred points, so. Uh Nightmare Phantasmal Cool Adrenaline. Is there anything particular I wanted to nightmare? Probably not. Yeah, let's just do adrenaline here. Safe choice. Um no energy relic, but we don't really need energy relics. Uh I think I'll go with Black Star. Elite drop an additional relic when defeated. Also, safe choice. The um, Astrolabe might have given us duplicates or garbage cards, so I don't think we need them. Although it would have given us uh, potentially upgraded cards. Now there is there are two, two, three elite paths, both on the right. So we have to hit these two elites. Up until that point, we can do two question marks. That's good. We don't really need more curses, but question marks are always nice. And then we can go this way for uh, two more question marks and a shop. 
So I think we'll do that. Okay, we do have a good amount of gold already. Um, get rid of this, and um, I think that's it. Hang on. Yeah, we only have 10 incoming, so I'm not too worried. Um, you know what? Let's get rid of the basic cards here, too. Alright, so uh, Apotheosis. Um, Adrenaline is always dangerous, since it might draw us a normality. Let's do Dagger Throw first. Okay. Um, Swift Strike, you. Yeah, let's risk it. Adrenaline. Okay. And then we can do... Um, yeah, I think I'll just calculate Gamble. Okay, Footwork. Good thing I did calculate Gamble there. And then uh, Double Strike kills this guy almost. Um, let's actually... Yeah, he's almost dead next turn, so let's get rid of you first. Okay. Yep, and never mind, they're all dead. Do I want a Fire Potion? I don't think I need a Regen Potion that badly. I also don't really need Poison that badly. You know what? I'll drop the poison. Okay. Now that we have footwork, dodge and roll might be useful. More useful than it was before, especially since it's upgraded. So, uh, Another curse. I mean, it would allow us... Hang on. We still have... Yeah. We we do have a shop, so we could, we could remove it. And it might give us a duplicate, either this one or the next one. So, all right. We got a regret, so we have to remove that. We also got ornamental fan. Every time you pay three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. That's actually very good. Since I do want to pick up... Or I do have a lot of zero cost attacks. Um, actually, we can remove the regret right now. Let's do that. Um, where is it? Here. Okay. Also got the uh, calculated gamble upgraded, which is nice. I right, got the orb walker here. Um, probably don't want the. Um, actually, Lex we would be nice defense. Let's get rid of the basic strike and defense. All right. So um, panache. Dagger throw, see what we get. Okay, probably don't need panic button here, right? Yeah, we have leg sweep, which should be sufficient. So footwork, leg sweep, swift strike, um, blade dance, All right? Okay, nine incoming. Um, see what flash of steel gives us? Okay, perfect. We can burn these two out, and then just dodge our own defend. All right, twenty-one. Escape plan gives us Panacea, very good. Trip, Panacea, and then double strike. Okay. And then here we can just do one strike, calculate gamble, and then flying me. Alright. Um another well, can't take another Panacea. I don't think I want to take any of these though. If we get to 50 cards, we might get a bonus, but um I don't wanna elude our deck with useless cards. Uh, okay, we only have eating coming, so I don't think we need panic button here. I don't need decay. Get rid of defend. Um, I'll keep the impatience. All right. Add panache. Dramatic entrance. Neutralize you. All right, and then we can do swift strike, regular strike. Impatience. All right, and then we can do flying knee. Dodge and roll. Um, I'll do Calculate Gamble. Let's see what we get. Hmm. Can't trigger the Panache unless we play Blade Dance, which I think is fine, and Venom can wait. Okay, perfect. Didn't kill in our opening turn, but I think this is reasonably close. Um, so let's do Quick Slash. Oh, there's a Normality. That's unfortunate. Um... There's no way to get rid of it either, right? Hmm. Well, let's kill this guy and then throw the fire potion. Okay. That way we don't have to uh, deal with all the incoming damage and instead can just uh, deal three damage next turn. Would be doable. Alright. Uh, riddle with holds, dagger throw. Riddle, riddle with holds will benefit or uh, would work well with the Envenom. But it's a little high cost, and I do want to use the panache more often, so none of these then. Okay, first lead this floor. Got the nemesis, who is attacking our opening hand, uh, opening turn. You know what? I'll keep the regret to get rid of it with the purity. Uh, can we defend? That's 11 plus 4, 15. And then we can play uh, 1, 2, 
three attacks for 19. Okay, so we're defended if we keep these T. Let's get rid of the defend. Uh, no, no, wait, we needed that too. Let's get rid of panic button then. Okay, fine. <laughs> Didn't get rid of too much, but we can... Uh, that was a mistake. I should have played panache first. All right. So then footwork, clo cloak and dagger, defend. And then shift, dramatic entrance, and strike. Okay. 45 incoming. There's not much we can do about that. Mm -hmm. Venom, Flash of Steel, Swift Strike, Defend, and um, yeah, there is actually not much we can do about that. I'll drink the Regen Potion here, might as well. Okay, yeah, we needed Weakness to be able to uh, successfully deal with that attack, and we just didn't have it. Um, Alright, here we'll do Blade Dance, Strike, then all these Shivs. Buy all the poison we can. Alright. I should have played the last defend. That would have dealt another 10 damage. That was my mistake. Can I draw something that will allow me to discard the normality? I guess I did with the calculated gamble. Let's do... Um, quick slash just to draw. And then calculate gamble. Okay. And then let's apply some more weakness. And then trigger the panache. All right. Okay, another 12. So, Panacea. Dagger throw first. Mm. I will keep the defend. Would be nice to actually be able to defend. Alright, strike and then patience. Escape plan. Trip, very nice. Alright, we dealt a good amount of damage. Just have to survive this turn and we should be good. Mm. Right. Okay, yeah, and the poison should kill this turn. Just make sure we don't have an incursion in our opening hand. We don't. All right. Uh, we got Happy Flower. Every three turns, gain energy as well as Runic Dedicadron. If your HP is full, gain energy at the start of your turn. As well as uh, we got the fire push or the old fire pushing back. Do I want bondage up? Bandage up? No, not really. Uh. No, no, I don't think we need to. It will just take a extra space in our deck. Only 4 HP, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, Alright, let's get rid of these. Um, do we need Defend? Yeah, we might need the Defend. So let's just... Actually, I'll keep the rest. Alright. So Apotheosis, Panache, um, Trip. Okay. Dramatic Entrance will actually deal a bunch of damage back to us. Let's do Neutralize first. Woodwork, Defend, Defend. Okay, now we can do Dramatic Entrance. And then, um, yeah, Flash of Steel, All right? Ten incoming. We do have the normality, which we can get rid of. Perfect. Let's see. Uh, let's see how Quick Slash gives us um, flying knee and backflip. All right. Yeah, if we trigger the panache one more time, we should be fine. Um, and I think we can, right? Um, actually, I guess we have to attack one of them. All right, perfect. Uh, Discover is great. Yeah, definitely. Well, Skewer, we do have a lot of energy with uh, Runic Dedicator and Happy Flower and our Energy Relic. The Skewer might be a good idea. But Discovery might give us something amazing. Let's do Skewer. Especially in the turn where we have Normality, that might be the best thing we want to play. Alright, Reptomancer. So here the panache is going to be very useful. Uh, let's get rid of the basic strike and I think that's it. All right, well, we got a basic strike back, so. Uh, okay, so dramatic entrance, panacea. Let's do cloak and dagger. Um, so this will only do 10 damage, so we still need to attack the minions a little bit. Let's also do envenom. Should have played that first. All right, so get rid of you and you. Now let's see what Quick Slash gives us. Okay. And probably just Dagger Throw. Alright. He is not attacking. Very good. We do have a Normality here, though, which is unfortunate. Um, let's see what Flash of Steel gives us. Oh, wow. That's a really bad hand. We have the Fire Potion, which we can use. Let's do Neutralize. Impatience. I will use the Fire Potion here. Okay. Continue to perfect. And now I think he's definitely 
going to attack. We do have a panic button just on our right hand. Let's do adrenaline. Um, panic button alone is not going to be enough, right? Because we have uh, 35 incoming, so we do have to play another. You know what? I will also do leg sweep here. Okay. And then do panic button and just really hope he doesn't attack us next turn. Yeah. And then we'll double strike this guy. Okay. He is attacking us this turn. Alright, weird. I had a game crash, so let's continue, or let's re replay this game. I'll try to repeat everything I've done exactly the same way. So here we'll di we did Panache, um, and I think we'll, I did Dramatic Entrance, Messia, and Venom, uh, Cloak and Dagger, right? Or did I do, well, it doesn't matter. The order, I, th I don't think matters too much. But actually, no, I, I do remember that I killed the um, minions first. I didn't want to risk uh, drawing the normality with the quick slash. Okay, so far so good. Alright, nine incoming. Flash of steel, neutralize. And then impatience. Okay, and then I did throw the fire potion. Alright. Okay. Well, now we know he's attacking next turn. But um, I still think this is the best thing to play here. Let's do Adrenaline. Alright, Leg Sweep. Is it though? Hang on, how much can we defend for? 16, 8, 24, and we have 27 incoming. Alright, fine. This is this is, this is is basically considered cheating. Since I am using um, a known outcome, or an unknown outcome. Uh, but restarting. But in my defense, the game did restart. Yeah, you know what? No, I, I, this is cheating, but I will still do it. Um, all right. Okay, so still perfecting this turn. We got... Well, actually, that didn't help us. Right? Well, let's see if we can perfect this turn. Late dance, shift, shift, defend, and piercing rail. Um, let's see what attack potion we get. Unload, riddle, withhold, will give a bunch of um, poison to the enemy. All right, yeah, even with all of our efforts, still weren't able to perfect this one. So good, good to see that my character <laughs> allows for cheating if uh, if convenient. Not actually that good, but... Um, so trip, defend, and skewer here. Okay. And he should be dead this turn, right? Just need a little bit of damage. Actually, I guess here we can do the panic button. Oh, no, man, he's dead. All right. We got Pendip. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage as well as Vajra. Stardish Khan with one strength. Those both are very nice. Do I want Crippling Cloud? No, I want Acrobatics. We have a lot of energy and not enough card draw. Um, Alright, here we got another doubt. As well as Peace Pipe. You can now remove cards from your deck at rest sites. Now, the reason this is unfortunate is because we do have 5 Curses, but we have the doubt duplicated. Which means that uh, we won't get the Highlander modifier unless one of these question marks give us another curse. So, well, let's, we definitely want to remove one of the without since I do want to get the um, Highlander modifier. Or, the, well, it doesn't matter if we get one or the other. Um, if we can't get both. Anyway, we have 30 incoming here. Let's get rid of Panic Button. Probably don't need Leg Sweep. Don't need Strike and Defend. Okay. Alright, we can do Trip. I uh, should have done uh, Panacea first. Then Neutralize. Uh, not Panacea, the um, Panache. That's what I meant. Um, let's do Dramatic Entrance. Um, escape Plan. Alright, Impatience. We already out the Decay. Flash of Steel, Quick Slash, Adrenaline. Yeah, we have a lot of energy and not enough card draw. Okay. 40 incoming here. Let's do foot. No, let's do ac well. Let's do footwork first, then acrobatics. All right, and then uh, we can do dagger throw. Okay, and then uh, yeah, that's not looking good. Let's hope we draw a zero cost card here. Fine, uh, that works as a zero cost card. We do have normality here, so there's not much we can do. So we're going to take two damage from the uh, attack, but that's fine. Fifteen coming to us is acceptable. Alright. Wasted double damage there, but fine. 60 incoming. 
Well, finally Apotheosis decides to show up. Um, this will do 40 damage. That's not enough. Let's do Apotheosis and Venom. And then um, I'll drink the Energy Potion and um, do 44 damage. Still not enough. Actually, let's trigger the Panache. Yeah, that's that seems worth it. All right, close enough. Okay, and now 70. Uh, he's dead next turn, right? So Panic Button will definitely be useful here. Let's actually do Backflip first. All right, and then um, Defend, Panic Button. Okay, and then we can do Blade Dance. All right. We got Liquid Bronze, uh, as well as an Upgrade Enlightenment, which we definitely don't need. Um, do I? No, none of these. Yeah, I don't think we'll get to 50 cards, so I don't think we have to stress it. Alright, so definitely want to remove the extra Doubt. Okay. Unseizing Top might be useful. We do have a good number of zero-cost cards and a bunch of energy. Actually, we have a bunch of gold, right? So let's spend it. So Unseizing Top, whenever you have no cards in your hand during your turn, draw a card. Ancient Tea Set, whenever you enter a rest site, start next combo with two extra energy. And Frozen Eye, when viewing your draw pile, the cards are now shown in order. It's actually very useful for us to determine when the normality is coming up. Probably don't need to finish uh, Finisher. Definitely want Blur. Um, do I want Noxious Fumes? I mean, might as well, right? Who's our final boss here? Time Eater. Not going to be super useful against him, but... Yeah, let's do Noxious Fumes. And then I'll get all of the potions as well. I uh, really don't want Finisher, right? Yeah. Uh, well, this would give us another curse, but it would be <laughs> a doubt, which is not great. I think, how many relics do we have? 5, 10, 15, 20. We have 23. And we guaranteed another 2 here, so we don't actually need the relic. But not healing is also a problem. Fine, fine, we'll just get a rare relic then. Um, Alright, uh, what do we want to get rid of? Uh, kind of everything except for the footwork, maybe. I do want to fish for... Um, an apotheosis early. Yep, that works. All right, panache, woodwork, neutralize, um, strike, dramatic entrance, impatience. Let me just skewer. Actually, let's do acrobatics. Okay, blur might be useful here. Let me do that before we draw the normality, just in case. Okay, we already have 15 block. Just need a tiny bit more. Rip backflip. That was good. All right, quick slash. I should use the fact that we have frozen eye. All right, so normality is coming up, but not very soon. So let's just do flying knee and uh, defend here. Okay. Normality is coming up. Uh, yeah, if we do calculate gamble, we'll get normality. So let's do adrenaline, strike, cloak and dagger. Hmm. And then probably just do calculate gamble here. Yeah, I think that's fine. Hmm. 10 incoming. Escape plan. Actually, let's check when the... Oh, Normality is, is coming up soon here. Let's do Blur, Noxious Fumes, and then Defend. Alright. Um, rip, Flying Knee, and Strike. Okay, we should be able to kill here very soon. Wasting double damage, but that's fine. All right. We got the specimen. Whenever an enemy dies, transfer any poison has to a random enemy. Not bad. Do I want an attack potion? You know what? I don't think I need two fear potions. Yeah, let's drop one for an attack potion. Um, the bomb. No, no, I don't think we need it. All right. Nemesis again. Let me review when normality is coming up. Okay, it's coming up in uh, five cards, so we can get rid of four cards and not worry about it. I want to do that. Yeah, purity is not coming up soon. So, um, actually, I guess I guess we can get rid of the uh, normality with the calculate gamble. Might be nice to to have gotten rid of it. We can play panache, apotheosis, and then calculate gamble. Fine, let's do it. Okay. Actually, let's do it the other way around. Let's do apotheosis. Then Panache. Then Calcade Gamble. Okay. 
All right. And now we can... Uh, I think we should be fine here. Yep, footwork. And then defend is enough. Let's do Swiss Strike here. One defend. Um, actually, we do need the second one here. All right. 45 incoming again. Ugh. Well, at least we have weakness this time. Let's do backflip. Definitely have to do leg sweep. What is Acrobatic's going to give us? It would give us purity, which we don't really need. Leg sweeps at 33. Actually, we are defended against this. Surprisingly enough. Okay. Alright, another 12. And do trip. Piercing wheel. Purity. And then strike. Blade dance. Very nice. Okay. Very happy with the unseasoned top being useful here. Okay. Alright, uh, he is intangible, but he's also not attacking. Let's see when the next normality is showing up. Alright, we still have time. Uh, so I think I'll do Noxious Fumes, uh, Panacea, Adrenaline, and Venom, and then Strike. Okay. Should be able to kill this turn. Strike and Flying Knee, perfect. Alright, we've got Juju Brisa. Normal enemy combats are no longer encountered question mark rooms. And then uh, Ninja Scroll, a Starvish combat, add three shifts into your hand. We have to take it, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 24. Yeah, we have to take it. Alright. Upgraded Blind might be useful. Dark Shackles might also be nice. I'll take Dark Shackles here. Alright. All right, let's get rid of the Decay, Basic Strike and Defend, and uh, keep the rest. All right, so Panache, Dramatic Entrance, um, and then let's target the weaker one here. Okay, Footwork, Strike, and Patience gives us, uh, I think, too amazing. I shouldn't have targeted the um, uh, double damage. I don't want to, well, might as well. I should have targeted um, somebody else because the Panache was going to do damage to the midliner too. Uh, let's just do Noxious Fumes Survivor and then see what we draw here. Doubt. Alright, that's fine. Malady is not coming up anytime soon. That's good. Okay. Um, in Venom, backflip. Uh, we can do Blur. What's coming up next? There's an Apotheosis if we do Calculate Gamble. No, let's just do Panacea, Blur, and Defend. guy's dead anyway. Um, do I want to bring the Nunchak or... Yeah, I do want to get the pen up a little higher up. Coming up next, Flash of Steel and then the Normality. Oh, Regret actually. I thought it was Normality. Okay. Alright. Uh, none of these. I think we definitely could have gotten to 50 cards if I rejected some less. So I'm not sure actually. Should we rest here? Yeah, we may want to rest. The other option is to remove another curse. You know what? Maybe better to remove a normality. Actually, with the um, Frozen Eye, I don't think we need to remove the normality. Yeah, fine. Let's rest here. Just unfortunate. We did have six curses total, but they're all duplicates. Or seven, actually. No, no. Six. Six. All right. So, definitely want to... Hang on. Let's see what's coming up next. Um, Potheosis is coming up in ten cards. So, I do want Calculate... Well, no, hang on. I do want Escape Plan, so let's get rid of seven cards. I want Escape Plan next turn. Hang on, let me plan this. Let's perfect this. So, uh, we have 26 incoming. We don't have enough defense right now. So, we need to get Backflip. That's 5 plus 5 plus 6. That's 16. That's still not enough, although we can't throw a Weakness Potion and play enough attacks. I think that should be fine. And then backflip would go us escape plan, okay. And the escape plan will draw us the doubt. That's fine. And then turn after that would have apotheosis and then these three. Uh, these four. Lex will be useful, cloak and dagger will be so useful. Yeah, let's I think that's fine. So hang on, what did I decide? I need to get rid of six cards. Um one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Alright, so then I'll do Panacea. I should have done Panache first. I forgot about Flash of Steel. Actually, let's do Backflip. Let's worry about Defense first. Flash of Steel would give us Apotheosis. You know what? Let's do that. 
Uh, actually, let's use the escape plan too. So yeah, let's do Flash of Steel first, then escape plan. Okay, then Apotheosis. All right. Um, trip, dodge and roll, defend. Okay, now we throw the weakness potion. Actually, do we need to? Um, where's our uh, ornamental van? Can we play two more attacks? Yes, we can. Oh, that's unfortunate. You know what? I'll do flying. Oh, and he'll gain strength. Okay, fine. So we do have to throw the weakness potion. I'll do flying knee. We can also do liquid bronze. And the essence of steel. Oops. I guess we didn't need to throw the weakness potion this turn then. Hang on, he'll gain 2 strength, that's like 22. Yeah, we should be fine. Actually, I do want to throw the attack potion just to uh, get him going again. Yeah, Skewer is probably good. Alright. Alright, 18 incoming. Oh, we can only draw, we, or we're only drawing 4 cards. Should be fine though, we can do Leg Sweep in Venom. And I have to remember, we have the... Uh, Unseizing top, so we can draw a few more cards. Just have to look out when normality is going to show up. Alright, so let's do Cloak and Dagger. Just play the shivs. Hmm? I should have played the Calcane Gamble. That was a mistake. I'm not sure why I didn't do that. Alright, normality is coming up in five cards. So we can do a big skewer. Let's do Dark Shackles. Dagger Throw would give us Blade Dance. Hang on. I'm um, trying to see, uh, so if we get Blade Dance, that's three shifts, that's four cards total, five, six. Yeah, I think that way we can get him to split. Dagger throw. Blade Dance, then do a big skewer. One, two, three. Yeah, and then we'll draw a strike. Okay, perfect. Okay, one, two, three. All right. So now he's going to be purging, which is great, because we do have the normality in here. Okay. Alright, so we'll just do neutralize and strike. Alright, so he purged. 30 incoming. So, let's do what's coming up next. Uh, defense, strike, acrobatics. Too bad acrobatics is going to be just one hand away. I guess we can take it with the um, unseizing top. Can we defend... No, we cannot fully defend. Let's throw the fear potion. Strike, defend, defend, blur. Um, yeah, I don't think I can do panic button here. There's no guarantee that um, he will not attack us next turn. Well, there's footwork a little too, ba too late. Um, I'll get rid of the impatience. Let's do footwork, swift strike. We won't have enough energy to play this strike. But we do have to play Survivor here. Yeah, not much choice we have there. So this turn we can only play one card to try to against 39. Yeah, that was just poor planning on my part. Oh, wait, no. What did I do? I, I totally forgot. Nay, we, we did... Wait, I'm confused. But yeah, no, we're fine. We're fine. Being overly dramatic there. Let's do um, defend or shiv and defend. And then, um, hang on, he has 39 coming. We are just barely defending against that. Okay. Oh, no, we're not. Uh, I forgot about the Decay Curse. I shouldn't have played that strike. Yeah, that was a mistake. I knew that the, the Decay was coming up. I played the strike, the Decay came in my hand, and I lost HP. That was the issue. I shouldn't have done that. Ah, such a stupid mistake. Let's see if we, I'm going to try to perfect, even though I did that mistake. Um, hang on, we have 32 incoming. Probably defend, defend, blur. Then calculate gamble. Okay. And then uh, shiv. Yeah, that's such a silly mistake. I saw it. I saw it too, and I just ignored it. Uh, well, it looks like we're not going to be able to prefend either way. Because we, now we have 39 incoming and um, can't really kill. Uh, let's just do dodge and roll and then skewer. Okay. Alright, fine. So I don't feel too bad since we, even if I hadn't missed that up, we would we would still have taken damage. But, um, yeah, obviously I don't feel great about it. Alright, let's see how our score was. We just uh, barely did not make the one hour threshold for an extra 25 points. We had 11-12. Yeah, it's kind of low. 
So we had uh, seven elites, we perfected four of them, when we only perfected the first floor boss, right? The second floor boss was very hard, and the third floor boss um, might have been possible, but, you know, not there. We did get the Highlander, we, we I think, got un unlucky with the Curses modifier. If we had an event that transformed the curse, or if we just got any of the other, I think like 10 or 11 curses, we should have been fine, but... Oh well. Um, let's see how we do in the rankings. Um, daily climb, alright. Alright, so right now we're 16th, but it is early in the day. I do fully expect us to drop to like the hundreds. Actually, let, let me review. Yesterday we had... Um, uh, not great score, 855, but we got 78th place. That's that's actually, I would have thought we would have dropped further down. But yeah, so today I do expect, probably we'll end up in around the same place at the end, 70th or so. But um, yeah, it was an inter interesting run. Thanks for watching. Bye.